And already we're pressing towards B main. There's a little bit of A presence over the other side of the map as Seb is. Oh, I love the discipline from Chemicals. He just waits. The wall goes up. They're going to get entry onto the site. You're going to see the remaining members of Immortals rotate over while Ambox has already lost to it and make that one as the health bars are getting so dangerously low. Rossi's another one with only 45 health left. Dancing around a great flash. Things are tied up here and the spike isn't down yet. They might, they might pull off here, Lex. Well, Rossi has bought just enough time. Shot up and gangsta over here in B Heaven. And... As oh, there's the nade coming in. Ain't shells only. forcing off. Uh, I, I like this. I like the repositioning. He had plenty of time to make something work, but now he's in a one v one. His position has been given away. He has no idea, but Angst is certainly worse for where. What a no dash. There's no blast pack. There's no quick way to get onto the site to follow up, and they're running out of time. Daisy Stanley's up from the top rope. He gets one. Gets oh. traded out. Yay! So good. With the Spectre, good for two. Boy's gonna get the spike down just in the nick of time. And now, once again, Immortals find themselves in a situation where they're gonna have to fight for the retake. Problematically, for the boys on the defending side, they're one-dimensional in their approach. They're only funneling from funneling in from the same side. And Anbox knows, right? Ye walks away with three. Anbox gets a three. The Paranoid's gonna come out. Mata goes in with the showstopper spots two. Not able to land even one. Meanwhile, Gangsta does clean him up. Numbers advantage in favor of Immortals. Don't think we've been able to say that the entire map up until this moment. The spike goes down. Yeah, he's just so low. He's going to drop. <sighs> Excuse me. He's not going to drop. Vice is not going to have the rolling thunder online for the rest of the round. Again, Immortals in a spot where they can retake B. That's certainly going to help. Not up as a showstopper as well. Here it comes. Oh, that one lands. Far more bang for buck this time around. Meanwhile... Ye trades it out, shot up, trying to go up over the wall, waits for it to break, and he comes out of nowhere! Oh my gosh, shot up, are you kidding me? What an answer! Raider in hand. And that's going to pull out the rest to equalize things, but if you're chemicals, you got to be feeling pretty dang good about the shot you just landed. The rolling thunder coming out of ice, going to clear things out. It's going to be traded out as well. Both Rolling Thunders being used. Vice and the rest of Ambox are going to work their way onto the site. The spike has been planted, and there's a Cosmic Divide as well. How do they choose to play around this? So interesting. And so tense here for Ye, knowing the Diffuse just came through. But there's just... There's nothing to be done. There's double players here on the Heaven Balcony. But Rossi says... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and clear that out. Yay, he sprang <laughs> through our cover. Finding his third of the round of the shot up. And now JC, Stanny, and Chemicals left alone. 2v3. Pressing into this post plan over here on the A site. Boy alone with supporting teammates from Heaven and Hell, respectively. JC, Stanny with his third. Remaining. Boy and Seb both answers back. Terrifying. For an unwitting defender, there's Mata leading the entry up into Heaven. Yeah, no flash coming out there. Vice good with one. Good 4-1 with the Frenzy. Numbers advantage in favor of Anbox still. JC Sandy. Oh man, I thought he landed another one. It was actually Chemicals who did it, but it doesn't matter. The damage was done. Chemicals gets another one. And what looked so good for Anbox has gone absolutely sideways. Now Seb is left alone in a 1v3. I want to get this out. He has the ult as well, but he, he's just running out of time. One, two. Ten seconds left. Seb in a 1v1. Doesn't have the health advantage. And Chemicals just has to, like, just run, run away from him, right? Like, he doesn't have the spike. He doesn't have time. No. All right, here we go. Showstopper out for Mata. The paranoia was there as well, and the wall's gone up. So once again, they're going to find themselves in a situation where they're going to have to fight for the retake. Rossi, good for two. Ye trades him out. The res is going to come up as well. But the thing is, Immortals is so low, right? They only have two members left. Planted. Yeah, this is just not panning out for Immortals. You know what? There's, there's been a few different moments, and we've highlighted each one, Doug. And I would just manbox early on in this round, Doug, pressing at a main. They refuse to be denied. Cool. Chemicals will fall. Vice pushes forward, and there's just classics, frenzies, Bucky's, you know, standard makeshift thrifty by here coming out from Immortals, and a few frags are going their way. And now they're in a three on two. Look at what I said. We got a Rolling Thunder coming out as well. Rossi in a 1v1 against Mata, who's just underneath him, and he's 
Got a drop right oh! on top of him for four in the clutch. Oh man, I almost said it. You, you almost did. I I think I've already said it once here. B main pressure switches towards heaven pressure and Andox once again getting stuffed, Doug. This is a uh, big difference from earlier in the game. Absolutely. I, I think you hit the nail on the head there, Lex. Numbers have been heavily in favor of Immortals here, and it seems to be going from bad to worse for Anbox. His vice was good to trade away from getting there. There's a rolling thunder. They're going to walk their way in, and my gosh, JC Stanny was there. He was waiting for it. The res is going to come up. Chemicals deep to Seth Ladestorm again. Banks is just one point away from getting the res back, but Seth, good for another one. Chemicals with the blade storm. One. Ooh. Oh my god. What? Second, third. Spike goes down, not able to get the fourth. Mata trades it out a 1v1 for the last round of the half. 22 seconds left. I like that. I like that. It was a fake. Mata still waiting down low. Gangsta doesn't bite, and Gangsta brings the pain down from the top ropes to get the round win. Right? Yeah, he's going to get back onto the site. Left alone here. Now the rotations are coming over, but can he buy enough time? He drops. Mata's here. down A. Spike's been planted. They're starting to creep over. Excuse me. The, the spike was down. Now it's been planted. Chemical's in a great spot to blow things up. Spots one, spots two. Not able to land anything as far as kills go. And shot up is left alone, Lex. Certainly a great start. Last pack's going to push him off. He's just, he's just pure survival at, at this point. Trying to react oh. to everything, but Mod is good for three. Nice start. Immortals reacting immediately with a B push. Shot up finds the first. Boy trades it out. Going still on the site, down to 70 health. He's going to drop. As Seb has made his way around. What a great spot for Seb. He's good for one. The spike goes down. As things drop down to a 2v2. Both remaining players from Immortals are on the site. Looking like they're trying to set up a high-low stack back in that B corner. There. While Ambox, I mean, they have they have some options. I like the slow orb. You see the stack up, right? The slow oh, orb man. on top of the raise nade can be so devastating. Doesn't quite land. The flash, I don't know that it did either. They swing out. Mod is good for one. Rossi trades it out at 1v1. Wow. Yay drops as Rossi answers the call again for Immortals as the two. Seb, Seb is just looking what? for anything he can find. Finally gets one shot up. He's going to use the showstopper. Blast Whoa. his way in and doesn't get a shot. As Boy's there on the side. Hits him with the sucker punch. Rossi trades it out. A 1v2. Ye's left alone. He's got, he's got health. He's got a rifle. So he's got a chance at something here. This is certainly winnable for Ye. Is it out? Ye's been spotted. Down. Now he does have that heal. Now you're seeing some of that Astro utility. And again, that high low stack legs like, can be so hard to deal with. Let's make the vibe that we were talking about. Flash comes out. It's a decent spot. The, the from the shadows is gonna come out as well. Seb on the site. Chemicals with the blade storm. Good wow. for one. Seb not able to anchor anything down either. 3v3 here. Spike is here. There's that rolling thunder. And the problem is, Lex, that spike is in a brutal spot. They can't get anywhere near it. They can just squat on it here. And with nine seconds left, they've got to go. They've got to go now. I don't think they're going to have time. Things went absolutely sideways. There will be coming out for them, so not all is lost. But yay, with a paddle save right off the brink with a back. If you push in that aggressively, well, oh my gosh, hang on. Mod is good for two. Excellent spray transfer. Now I'll be able to get the third. The spike is still down over on the back of the site. They, they just go back and forth each time. Fault line early on Ooh. here over at B main means Vice. I mean, the first on the chemicals. Last point does come out, so he'll be cleaned up immediately. Now it's four is all. We're dropping the dark cover, retreating back towards the B site. Orb gets collected by Gangsta, and the res should come out, and that's a beautiful play call here from Immortals. It, it really is, but Lex, like, Ambox are feeling themselves. It's you've got if you're you've got to be responsive here for Immortals because the, the confidence with which Ambox are starting to play can be terrifying. Immortals have to step up here, and so far so good, right? They're finding themselves in a five v two this round, certainly, especially because of how Ambox opened the round. One enemy remaining. Yeah, and I think we saw shades of this in the first half when Immortals was on defense, where. Back and forth they went, showing you. It is, it's gonna roll things out. The dash comes Get out. out There's Mata with the showstopper waiting on the other side of the smoke. Not really able to see anything, but there it is. It doesn't land at all. It doesn't what? connect onto anything, but somehow, <laughs> through that, Immortal still managed to walk away with the numbers advantage. Yay and Seb left alone. Ten seconds left. 
the wall does uh, the wall goes up the spike goes down and Lex this does not look good <laughs> no, it does not. Ooh. a nice snap headshot on a shot up from Seb Seb and Ye who have just had this dynamic duo this, the chem between these two players cannot be stressed enough thanks to hold strong though that flash point from breach forcing back Seb means an unlikely 1v3 for him. Immortals tying it all at 11. Actually, as I say that, Vice, second guessing himself, comes back towards A. Heaven and Ye holds fast the top of A ramp. Chemicals find both. So now this is a four on three retake for Anbox. And JC Staney was the only casualty in that situation. Well played by Immortals. They're going to get the spike down just in the nick of time. And I like this from Chemicals, right? Like going in aggressively, taking away more space where the defenders could be coming in from. But he's going to get paranoid and it doesn't matter. Chemicals gets the best of him anyway. Shot up good for another one as well. Tease it up with the second Immortals at map point. Very soft fake from Gangsta over there at B main. It was just enough to make Vice step out of position. And that's all that really mattered. You know, once you had given up your rope angles, there was just no way you're going to defend that and save. They're light on armor. They don't all have armor. There's the Cosmic Divide coming as well. Shot up going in with the showstopper. Lands good for one. Numbers advantage. Really not going any which way. As a couple of kills are coming out for Immortals, they might be able to put this thing away right here, right now. Vice with just nine health. Looking to do something. Seb is healthy as well. Ice drops. Seb left alone in a 1v3. In a 1v3. A blade storm on the other side as well. Seb, what kind of magic do you have in you? What can you whip up? There's that high low stack in the corner as well, and you don't even a little bit towards mid, but I don't imagine with the naked side of the map over towards A, this will eventually end B, Doug. Yeah, well, I don't know, man. They're taking the middle of the map. The wall's <laughs> gone up, but look at how much space the mortals have taken. The gravity was gonna be used. Nice shot out of Yay to take care of JC Sandy early on. Immortals looking to try to get onto the B site, but the problem is, Anbox has two players anchored on there, and I say it's a problem, and it seems to be paying off. Chemicals, trying to keep the round alive here. He's gonna get flashed up. Still gonna land the shot, how does he do it? 24 health left, not enough to get the rest of it. Vice is the deal, Lex. Not at all, but the pistols are just always pressed into these weird fights. He got a little bit of a classic burst coming off. One, two frags for Immortals, and now it's just Rossi maintaining his position over here. Player, and we'll look to the other players on this roster. Actually, as I say that, JC Stanley taking a brawl over there at mid, finding two of three. Mata still lives, drops that curveball. Hot hands to follow. That hurts. That yeah, that up. doesn't feel good, man. Chemicals cleaning that up, as you said. You've got to bust it. Over to A here as soon as you can. Vice is just trying to stay alive and not able to do so. Just getting peppered everywhere. Yay alone here. He's going to drop. Not able to put up those heroics or not able to continue those. That comes out. See if he can deliver anything with that Bucky waiting patiently. And my gosh, he doesn't have to, right? Seb's there. Good for two. They can continue to just hold this cross. Not let anyone in. With, 30, with 26 seconds left, they've got to commit to A. Like, they don't have a choice. The Cosmic Divide goes up. That's going to buy them a little bit of space. But they're going to have to push their way through that. Gangsta trying to blast his way through. Catch one. The Flash is going to come out. Ye's going to get the res on. But things just absolutely get shredded apart. You got 30 seconds left. What next? Oh, wow. JC Stanny dropping instantly. He had the blade storm, right? And it, it's just instantly nullified. I love it. Yay, already good for be able to pinch in from a couple of different sides. This is this has to be like a defense of the Alamo type performance out of Immortals to try to keep them off of B because they're gonna be coming right at them. No ultimates in mind for the their, for the rest of this round. Just a straight up 3v3. Decent health bars across the board. What can Anbox do? to take this back. Seb, already good for one. Rossi in a great oh. spot to get three! And the, and the ability to play through those scrappy moments where it's not always pretty, but you're getting what you need. That's money right there. They dash onto the site. The Reyna Lear is going to be there as well to pave the way. As it looks like uh, Immortals, excuse me, they've gotten really everything they want onto A. They're going to be able to waltz their way in. Yay. Man, Yay doesn't even... You know, we saw three kills coming out from Gangsta there, and oh my goodness, this Bucky, this Sheriff shots. Yeah, it, it almost, it almost went worse there, right? Is Ye almost got another one? What is, what is happening? Lex, it was Sheriffs and a Bucky across the board, going into five.
and ultimately it is going to avoid, for the most part, one tag coming out from the Hunter's Fury, but the retake is on now, Doug. Three on two. Now, the rest of the members of Ambox did manage to pick up rifles. Chemicals, chemicals, baby, four. Give him the ace. He's in a 1v1. He's got a chance for it. Ice creeping around. Chemicals, good for it. He gets the ace. And in on B. The Hunter's Fury is going to come out. That's going to destroy lockdown. Meanwhile, a counter has been used. Shot up. Shot up looking for something. He gets nothing. Right? He gets nothing with the Empress. There are two players detained. Seb, good for one. My gosh, things went so sideways for Immortals. Yeah. And just happy to take away the middle of the map, right? Like, they're just going to push away in. A great response from Seb and somehow manages to stay alive. Looking to use some fancy footwork to get out of a tricky situation. But no, Rossi, wise to it, cleans him up. There's the run it back. Ada again, a chance. He, he got some info there much more than he, would, than he got the previous time. Much more valuable. Uh, but not landing any kills. A couple of members very weak on the side for Mortals. Mata, he's not going to get bested twice in that situation by Gangsta. Gets the kill. Rossi gets the spike down. A 3v3 and a couple of members on the side of Ambox tattered as Seb joins the fold again. The thing is, with that comes information, right? Like, you know where that player died. So you know where the Rez is. You know where Ye is as well. JC Sandy wise to it cleans him up. A 3v2 here in favor of Immortals. Spike continuing to tick away. Good flash, but Shadow just backs up, right? JC Stanley with six health standing. left can prove to be bait, but what? Mata's good for three. Shot up. Has to go big here. He's got to have to. He has to take the oh. oh my gosh, shot up. They've taken all of this a long control. You see Mata is just on the other side of the smoke. He's going to play off a bit. They've got good presence on the site. But the problem is, yeah, if they get tree root, that's huge. They've taken tree root. The paranoia comes out. It's not going to delay. Um, potentially a 6-4 for immortals. Mm. You know, this this phantom in the hands of Vice, and yeah, he's already he's already backed mm. off towards mid. Mm -hmm. It's not as easy to part ways with when we're potentially looking at losing a half, being forced yeah. to eco. He will do his best to hold for exits. A lot of this phantom, if possible, JC Sandy will deny that, and so here in round 11. They've shown what they can do with sheriffs. Very similar. We'll see if they can replicate some of that same success, some of that magic that they had last time. Yep. All right. So far, so good. A lot of good for one. Good flash. Understanding where that pressure is coming in from. But there it is. There are those rifles. Oh! No way! Yeah. yeah. No this is way what again? This is what I'm saying, man. I don't know. But somehow, Anbox looks far scarier on these rounds where they have no money. It's just, <laughs> just massacre. Just, just by sheer. Getting busted out here on the entry of the mortals into the site. Ooh. Shot up even with an aggressive heaven play. Finding one on the Seb. No one more blind left. Okay. So they had to respect the lockdown because they didn't have a counter for it. But now that it's gone down, now they're going to creep in. But the problem is so much space has already been taken away. Mata with the running back. Good for one. Gets traded out instantly. The thing is, they have a decent idea of where they are. The flash through the wall. Not going to be good. Gangsta cleans him up. One left. It's Vice. Not around for long. Yeah. Really good pressure here on this pistol. And Box who have been flawless on pistols so far today. Set with two huge frenzy frags to start things out. That's going to do well for prospects of Anbox in this round is already Immortals being forced back to defender spawn, forced to retake, forced to give up market. Mata dueling with Rossi. <laughs> and this is the hottest pizza joint in town as he has to bail out of that one. Chemicals oh is going to drop as well. Clean shots at EA with the ghost. Gangsta in a one's already tagged up pretty heavily. The gravity well at the entrance of the site is so good for delaying things because you've got 10 seconds, right? You've got to go, you've got to go now. It looks like they should be able to get the spike down. There it is, but now they have to fight to keep control, and my gosh, things don't look good wow. for Anbox. Boy was alone, Immortals. See, the, the thing is, Lex, there was an eye on that. Meanwhile, pressure, heavy pressure over towards A. The curveball's gonna work their way. Towards three, the gravity well was there. Rossi, good for one. Chemical traded out. Oh man, Rossi's Ooh. just so good in that spot, right? Yeah, he's taken off the board as well. The spike still hasn't made its way onto the site. Meanwhile, everyone on the side of Immortals is here. Ambox is just gonna have to fight their way through, and that's exactly what they're doing as Vice and Boy get one apiece. Gangsta mows down. Boy, 
as Vice is left alone. He's in a brutal spot, getting shot at from both sides. Literally. See, Rossi not in the same spot he was last time. No heroics from there, but there's no counter to the lockdown. So it's going to go off with 10 seconds. You've got to get the spike down. Right then, you had to respect it. But here comes the Hunter Fury. Rossi, good for one. He's not in tree, but he's still getting the damage that his team needs. Boy, buying himself some time. Fending off members as they try to retake the site. Nothing doing quite yet. Handbox has already dropped one. Yay. Evening things out. Shot up with the Empress is just causing so many problems, so many fits. And the thing is, the spike's just going to continue to tick away, so they've got to go. Right, Vice left alone is again immortals. Pretty, pretty cool. Oh. Pretty far off. Shot ups. Shot just goes a bit wide as it doesn't land. Meanwhile, the wall's gone up. You see, my Seb has made his way into the back of the site. That should be pretty free entry as they get on to B. Meanwhile, the remaining members of immortals. It's like they. I mean, they can approach us from a couple of different angles, but this is a really difficult retake, Lex. Oh, absolutely. This is. You know, you look for maybe the first frag, maybe two here, and then you make the decision whether or not it's a go call, but... Yeah, right away you're gonna see these angles are not safe for the defenders. Gangster who's been here the whole round, he's like, I'm not leaving. I gotta know, come here, come come to me. <laughs> tree take. gonna try to rotate through, yeah. They've managed to work their way into tree. Boy's the only one who's still playing back. A couple of kills have already dropped. JC Sandy just on the other side of smoke has to go big. No! Absolutely oh! whips! Doesn't land anything! Bruh! Spike goes down. This is still a straight up 5v5, dude. This is going to be an absolute bloodbath. Yay. Gets one. The Hunter's Fury coming out. Shot up. Ah, trying to dodge any damage. I don't know if he's going to be able to dodge much more. No, he drops. Oh. Got Vice all the way on the other side of the map, trying to regroup his team, left. but rest for time. The XU's got to come through without him. Yeah, and the gravity well is there too to just buy time, right? Like, Chemicals is there with the Bucky, the Bucky, the Bucky sings! As it gets two, Rossi swings out. Vice with great shots, so Vice good for three. Not even. Bucky in the hands of Chemicals. That's just going to delay that indefinitely almost, right? Mm -hmm. Those guys are going not only through a choke point, but into like the 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 mentioned Bucky just okay early B push is it all to do here on but again, on a I set mean, man? Oh my gosh, JC Sandy with four looking for the ace and the statements made.